Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can use switch cases in Angular. See, switch cases, if else condition, else if condition, they all are the conditional statement in Angular. So when we should use switch statement, when we can use uh, else if and if else, you will get to know in this part. All right. So first of all, we'll discuss when we can use switch case and here I'll let you know the difference between if else, else if and the switch case also. After that, we will make a basic switch statement. Then we'll see how we can make switch cases with the button. One more thing guys, switch case and switch statement, the both are same thing, they are not different, right? And after switch case with the button, we'll see how we can use switch cases with the input field. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions related to the conditional statement in Angular. All right, so now uh, let's discuss first question, when we should use switch case. See, if we have only two conditions, right? For example, hide and show or toggling a one button. In that case, we can basically use normal if else condition, right? But let's say you have two, three or five conditions. That time you can basically use else if conditions. But let's say you have 30, 40, and maybe more than five uh, uh, statements you have or five conditions you have. That time you can use switch cases, all right? So now let's check an example for this. So let me open the app.component.ts file and here I have one property with the name of color and by default color is let's say red. All right. So now what I want to do, I want to show a different H1 tag with the color depending on the color. So maybe right now the color is red, maybe after some time this is uh, green, yellow or something. And I'll let you, I'll show you also how we can change this color on the click of button, right? But uh, first, let's take the static uh, color properties, okay? So uh, by default, this is red. So what you can do to start a switch statement in Angular 19, one more thing. So if you are using the older version of Angular, then this at the rate, uh, I mean to say, uh, directories, directives of switch statement will not work, right? Uh, that is a different thing, but in Angular 19 and 18, you can use the uh, switch state directives. So how you can use, you can simply put there at the rate, then just mention their switch there and what you want to check there, with, what condition you want to check there. So I want to check the conditions with the color. So let me pass their color. After that, simply put a case and in the case we'll pass like if, so color is red, then what we have to show. In that scenario again use this curly braces and take h1 tag and let me put some text there let's say red color or something right and there I will just use their uh, style property and there let me put their background color is let's say red right and now by default you can see that okay uh, I think this is not closed properly or what yeah actually I have to use their at the rate before case all right, so now you can see that we have the red color there. But let's say the color is uh, blue there. Then there is a nothing to display because this case is not true right now. So let, let's make one more condition for blue color like this. And if color is blue, then background color should be blue and the text is also blue color. Now this is working fine. Similarly, this color can be anything, maybe green, yellow or anything. So let me make some conditions. Uh, two more conditions I'm making first one for yellow and last one for green and let me change the color quickly so that we can check the difference and now I'll after that I'll show you different scenario where if nothing is uh, match with the color then what should we have to do right okay so now let's say I'm making this color green then this one last case is visible and you can, now you can see that so let's say color is uh, maybe gold or something then you will see nothing is matched there so then for that if you still want to show some text like this color is not matched or something and condition is not any of the above condition is not matched then you can use default like this like this and there simply use h1 tag and you can mention there no color match so here you can see that no color match green you can remove 
uh, this is coming from there because gold is not there right so let's say if there is yellow then you can see that yellow color and now let's say orange is not there so then you will find no match there but for now no match i want to show a black color and with the white text right so let me make a that was the uh, background color and now i'm just showing the color now you can see that no match and you can make there white right okay so now you can see that all these conditions are matching but i want to match this condition on the button click so let's say color is red there right and on this curl click i want to change the color of this color property so let's make a function handle color or something and l here i will pass a value with a string and there what we can do this dot color is let's say well perfect now let me call this function on the button click so let me make a click event there and there let me choose this with the red color right so if i just click over there you can see that this is red now because on this button click we are changing its values property similarly let me create some more buttons with green then maybe yellow and last one is maybe blue now you'll see if i'm just clicking on the any one they are perfectly matching right and default color if you want to change let's say red then that is also fine the default color will be red there okay so the now the scenario is okay on the blue no color is getting match why because it should be a small smaller blue now this is working so now let's say we have a but input field also and we have a placeholder enter color and on this i want to change the color so let me uh, change color let me create a function and this function parameter will be event and the type of this also event like this so what we will pass from there we will pass we will call this function with the input uh, event it should be in the smaller one then this function call yeah and it should be again with the dollar event like this okay so this is working fine but uh, inside this i want to change it so what you can do this dot color and if you want to get the property color from this event then simply you could use their event dot target as html input element dot value and what i can do there color like this so if i'm just putting there let's say green this is perfectly matching if i just put there blue it's perfectly matching even red is also matching but if i'm just putting something wrong which is not match then it will show no match so this is a quickly we are changing the you can say that colors and anything right so this is how actually switch statement work if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section please like subscribe and comment in the video section this is my paytm and gpay donation number thanks everyone